Hi, my name is Willie Minix. I'm a pastor and an author, and I just wrote a book called Hard Rain, Common Questions About the End Times. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about one of the questions that's in the book. And this is probably the biggest question that I get from people. It's, is the rapture going to be pre-trib, mid-trib, or post-trib? And then now I'm also getting a lot of questions about, is the rapture going to be a premillennial or is it an amillennial kind of rapture those are all things that people are kind of concerned about because they're studying a lot of different authors and Bible teachers that are out now and it's becoming more and more confusing and my advice to everyone is always go right back to the Bible study the Bible study what the Bible has to say and it, you can't go wrong with that I think if you spend most of your time studying other people's books and even if you don't want to buy my book, get a good Bible and study that more than anything. That's the most important thing. But I would direct you in answer to help find a little bit more information about that question to 2 Thessalonians 2. This is verses 1 through 12. It says, Now, dear brothers and sisters, let us clarify some things about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and how we will be gathered to meet him. What do we call the gathering to meet him? Well, that's what we call the rapture. It says, Don't be so easily shaken or alarmed by those who say that the day of the Lord has already begun. Don't believe them even if they claim to have had a spiritual vision, a revelation, or a letter supposedly from us. Don't be fooled by what they say, for that day will not come until there is a great rebellion against God and the man of lawlessness is revealed. Okay, who is the man of lawlessness? That's another name for the Antichrist. So it says that day when the gathering of, of the believers to Jesus happens, it's not going to happen until the man of lawlessness is revealed. Okay, some people say, well, it could happen at any moment. Well, God has a timetable, and right here it says that, no, that's not going to happen until the man of lawlessness is revealed. It goes on and says that he's the one who brings destruction. He will exalt himself and defy everything that people call God and every object of worship, and he will even sit in the temple of God claiming that he himself is God. So, that's another clue. Until there's a temple for him to sit in, we're not going to recognize him. So, uh, number one, that kind of makes a lot of people uncomfortable because they say, well, I was always taught this or I was always taught that. You always have to go back to the Bible and compare everything you learn with what the Bible actually says because a lot of teachers out there are confused on this issue even themselves. Then it goes on to say this, Don't you remember that I told you all about this when I was with you? And you know what's holding him back, for he can be revealed only when his time comes. So there's a set time, obviously. For this lawlessness is already at work secretly, and it will remain secret until the one who is holding it back steps out of the way. Then the man of lawlessness will re be revealed, but the Lord Jesus will kill him with the breath of his mouth and destroy him by the splendor of his coming. So this connects are being gathered together with Jesus' second coming. A lot of people say, well, there's two different events. Not according to 1 Thessalonians 2. So, if you want more information, you can check out my book, Hard Rain, Common Questions About the End Times, or just get your Bible and dig through it and read it for yourself. God bless you, and have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.